go. We're going to keep things going along. This is a, a good friend of mine, a uh, Tasmanian comedian who lives now on the mainland. He's had absolutely belts a couple of years uh, with Melbourne Comedy Festival, etc. Been touring around the country with his fantastic show. Ladies and gentlemen, please be welcome, Josh Earl! <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for clapping the whole time. That's good. Oh, my mate left. That's all right. Uh, yes, Ooh. Damien was right. I am actually uh, from Tasmania. I don't live here now, though. I live in Melbourne. Uh, but I do say when I do gigs in Melbourne that I'm from Tasmania, um, just so the audience just goes, shh, he's doing a good job. Uh, so I do say that. Uh, the people on, people on the date have left. Yeah, they've left because they were sitting there and you guys don't look like you're on a date at all. Uh, well, you could be. Good, good luck to you. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't care. Uh, anyway, this song is for anyone who, um, who, who's going out with someone or is married to someone who thinks they're a bit of a comedian, and it's, it's dedicated to my wife, so here we go. Okay. She take my money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling. That's enough of that. Okay, ah, uh, this song is called Stupid Jokes. She couldn't f Oh, it's too loud. Okay. She couldn't find the keys to a car. She said, it's like they're camouflaged. I said, car key is like that. She didn't like that. She said, why don't you help me look for them instead of just making stupid jokes. Stupid jokes. She accidentally trod on a snail. I didn't see it, but I heard her wail. I said, don't moan. Most snail deaths happen in their home. <sighs> ha, 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 Mr. Comedian. Very funny, wise guy. Why don't you hand me some paper towel instead of just making stupid jokes. Stupid jokes. I don't care if Monday's blue, Tuesday's grey and Wednesday too. Thursday, I don't care about you, it's Friday, I'm in love. I didn't realise I was actually ripping off the chorus of that song until the first time I played this song live and the Cure song got stuck in my head. But I thought, you know what, if I am going to rip off any band, it may as well be The Cure. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right, yeah, because you know, if they find out, they're not going to get any more depressed now, are they? Like. Have you seen Robert Smith lately? He looks like Elizabeth Taylor. Like, what's going on there, Robert? Goths aren't meant to age. That's not in the rules. She told me about her friend Steve, who took one of her CDs, and he wouldn't give it back. I said he should be in Fleetwood Mac, because Stevie Nicks stuff, Stevie takes and then doesn't give it back. Stevie borrows for a long, long time. For those who are too young to know, Stevie Nicks used to sing in the band Fleetwood Mac. And then in the, later in Stevie Nicks, for those who are too old to know, thank you for coming out at nearly 11 o'clock on a Thursday night. It means a lot to us. Um, don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Don't. That was one of theirs. Um, she said, can't you take things serious? If you don't, it will be the end of us. And I said, oh no, we're like a tunnel and a mobile phone. She said, enough is enough of your dumb metaphors for breaking up. And I said, well, actually, that was a simile, so I can take something seriously as long as they're grammatically correct. Cheers. We <laughs> having fun? We having a good time? I'm enjoying my time in Hobart. It's been good. I got here on Tuesday. It's been good. Uh, you right? Yep. Thumbs up. Excellent. Uh, he's wearing a T-shirt that says, I'm totally Toba. Uh, he loves drinking. Uh, we've got that. Okay, so uh, anyway, I'll enjoy my time in Hobart because what I'm doing in my days off is I'm going up to the mall, up to the bus mall bit there where all the emo kids hang out and I just, I, I just blend in. It's awesome. And like, I'm just blending in because what I love doing is I, I just love going up to emo kids and challenging them, challenging them to a game of rock, paper, scissors. 
because they always choose scissors, those self-harming bastards. Like, proving that rock beats emo every time. Um, I did that joke once and someone yelled out, you're not rock, you're indie. And I'm like, touche. Uh, but there wouldn't be one for indie kids. It'd be like, one, two, I'm there first. I, got there f I definitely got there before you did. No, I, I knew about it before you did. Oh, are you into it now? I'm not into it anymore. Uh, that would be the indie kids one.